So here we are. One of the last pieces of the puzzle is the number plate and it's just turned up and is ready to go on. It's already got a rear reflector at the top as I showed before and it's got wiring to wire up some LEDs so once this plate's on and an LED light it should be ready for MOT. So, this is the LED I'll be using, it's a number plate LED, it bolts straight through the number plate. My plan is to drill all the way through the middle hole, straight the way through the number plate and the plastic again, and use this to help secure the plate, and you'll have your light up LED light ready for MOT. So, the next thing I'm going to do is take the number plate back off and start looking at the wiring, making sure that old existing wiring is still powered and see if it will power the new LED. If it does, then we'll shove it on and it's ready. With these thinner wires, they break very easily. You have to be really careful with them. Hence why I bit it. This isn't the firing. final wiring, this is to check that it works. Perfect.
So this is it. I believe this is actually finally finished. This is the bike as a whole. You can see the contrast in blacks. So we did the brakes, we changed the colour, we slightly raised the exhaust. That's done now. We did rear number plate, it came without one, rear number plate light, a bit of a pain this morning but done. Rear light bulb cluster was a bit messed up, I had to use solder and get that fixed. Carb was cleaned, wiring was looked at, lots of soldering, lots of wiring done. I can't even think of what else. And we have a bike that I believe is now ready for MOT. I'll be taking it tomorrow. And uh, we'll let everyone know how it goes. If it passes its MOT tomorrow, it will be for sale tomorrow for around £500.